ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. And ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Let's find out together kung kaya nila ang brain workout natin for this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal our next K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Simulan natin si Yana. Yana is a third year BS Social Work student from UP Diliman. Her hobbies are watching Korean drama and movies from Netflix. Up next, we have Trisha. Trisha is a BS Chemical Engineering student of UP Diliman. She enjoys playing Mobile Legends and watching vlogs during her free time. Next, we have Miguel. Miguel is a third-year student taking up BS Social Work from UP Diliman. One of his favorite series of all time is Modern Family. And finally, we have Eliza. Eliza is a BA Creative Writing student from UP Diliman. When she isn't writing, she's busy cooking for her loved ones and chasing after cats around campus. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Our first expert, Professor Glesia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters of UP Diliman. We also have Professor Ricky Nellius of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History in UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, hawa ko na ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but wait for me to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin! Question number one. Macaulay Culkin played the role of Kevin McAllister in what 1990 Christmas movie? Miguel. Home Alone. Home Alone is correct. K-check. Question number two. The AFP are the military forces of the Philippines consisting of the three main service branches. What does AFP stand for? Trisha. Armed Forces of the Philippines. Armed Forces of the Philippines is correct. K-check. Question number three. How many sides does a rectangle have? Trisha. Four. Four is correct. K-check. Question number four. In what sport did Tiger Woods win 15 professional major championships? Yana. Golf. Golf is correct. K-check. Question number five. What do you call a celestial object consisting of a nucleus of ice and dust? Trisha. Comet. Let me proceed with the question. And the tail of gas and dust particles pointing away from the sun. You said comet. That's correct. K-check. Question number six. In medicine, what do you call a procedure to remove waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys stop working properly? Trisha. Dialysis. Dialysis is correct. K-check. Question number seven. Which female singer recorded the hit songs Dangerous Woman in 2016 and God is a Woman in 2018? Miguel. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is correct. K-check. Question number eight. In the theater, what is the general term for the conversation between actors on stage? Yana. Dialogue. Dialogue is correct. K-check. Question number nine. In math, what number is exactly between 500 and 900? Trisha. 850. 850 is wrong. Anyone can steal. Hindi po umabot, Miguel. The correct answer is 700. Okay? Question number 10. What capital of the province of Kalinga was awarded a seal of good governance by the DILG in December of 2023? The correct answer is Tabuk. Question number 11. 
What sport do the cream line cool smashers? Yana. Volleyball. Let me proceed with the question. And the F2 logistics play. You answered volleyball. That's correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. What do you call the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings, which is also the course in college? Miguel? Architecture. Let me proceed with the question. That is also a course in college that you need to take to learn this. You answered architecture. That's correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. And after that round, we have Trisha in the lead with 40 points, followed by Yana and Miguel, who are tied at 30 points. And we have Alisa, who will have to make up for her lack in points. Yes. But now it's a more exciting time, time to get to know our contestants. Let's start off with Yana. Yung K-pop and R&B genre, medyo magkaibaya tayo, hindi ba? Yeah. Isa medyo... Luma talaga. <laughs> Lumang style. Yung isa medyo bago. Bakit man itong dalawa ang nakahiligan mong pakinggan? Uh, kasi yung dad ko po ay very mahilig siyang makinig ng mga R&B songs. So nahawa na rin ako na makinig sa mga R&B songs. Hmm. Pero di ba may ibang K-pop na medyo tunog R&B din? Meron po. Uh, K-hip-hop or K-R&B naman yung genre niya. Pinilit ko lang. <laughs> Meron daw. Knowledge of God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yana. Si Trisha naman, uh, isang Chem Eng student. So may free time ka pa bang manood ng mga vlogs? Uh, given yes. sa heavy load? Uh, yes po. Um, I watch vlogs lang in between study breaks po. And sa dami ng mga vlogs na nakikita mo sa algorithm mo, ano yung pinaka-favorite mo so far? Uh, yung favorite ko po ay mga family vlogs because I feel like nag po yung inner child ko. Oh. What is a family vlog? Uh, example po nun ay yung Skypod ni Chris and Slater Young. Mali, they so featuring feature. the whole family? Yes, okay. Mamaya ka lang tatanoyin kung sino yan. <laughs> but in any case, it's nice to get to know our contestants. But in the meantime, itutuloy na lang natin ang usapan niya later. Kasi right now, kailangan na natin maganda for round two. Susunod na po yan pagbabalik ng K-Check. K -check. Tuloy po ang ating karunungan check. Just a brief recap, we have Trisha in the lead with 40 points, Yana and Miguel with 30 points each, and Alisa with 0 points as of now. So, let's get back to knowing our contestants. Miguel, ano ba ang reason kung bakit gustong gusto mo yung series na Modern Family na yan? Hindi kasi maganda po yung family dynamics na pinaportray ng mga karakter. And para nagka-complement po yung each pairing dun sa family. And Ang ganda po nung kinalabasan sa series, ayun po. Kaya Meron ka bang favorite character dyan? Uh, ang favorite character ko po siguro, um, yung dalawa pong gay na parents na si Cam pati si Mitch. So parang, mm. ang parang kasi kung titignan po natin yung, um, yung timeline nung pagkaunang release nung episode po na yun, is parang antagal na. Tapos yung, yung pagtalakay po dun sa gender na yun, sa LGBTQ as parents, Parang ang progressive niya po tignan. Kaya po parang napamahal din po ako sa characters nila. Oh, may pagsuri na sa material. Uh -huh. no? <laughs> okay. Si Eliza naman. Thank you, Miguel. Si Eliza naman, kailangan naming malaman bakit ka naghahabol ng pusa sa campus. Ano po kasi, parang emotional support animal sila. I mean, hindi ko naman sila hinahabal aggressively. Parang pinapat ko lang sila. Otherwise, baka sila ang kailangan ng emotional support. Oh. <laughs> Pero di ba usually per building dito may mga cats oh, talaga? Oh. May favorite cat ka ba? In what building? Meron sa AS po. Pero hindi niya ako gusto. Hmm. Minsan ganun talaga. <laughs> so sabihin ko sana, iuwi niyo na ang mga cats. You adopt them na and take care of them uh -oh. and run after them in your own house. <laughs> I'm kidding. But thank you very much to our contestants for sharing your stories and insights with us. But now it's time to get back to business and back to the competition. So now this is round two. Remember to wait to be acknowledged before answering. Otherwise, you will not gain any credit for that particular question. So, each correct answer is worth 20 points. However, you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. 
question number one. What is the local name of the 2013 Typhoon Haiyan which devastated... Miguel? Yolanda. That typhoon which devastated Tacloban, Leyte, and much of Eastern Visayas was locally known as Yolanda. The answer is correct, k -check. Question number two. One of the most massive reptiles in the world is a constricting snake that may reach a length of 30 feet and a weight of 500 pounds. What is the name of this very large snake? It was also the title of the movie, Anaconda. Question number three. Who is the god of thunder in Norse mythology, Miguel? Norse mythology. Thor. Thor, the mighty Thor. The answer is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In boxing, what do you call a result in boxing in which all three of the ring judges agree that the same fighter won? Eliza. Unanimous decision. Unanimous decision is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Kurt Cobain was the lead vocalist. Liza. Somebody can still steal. Let me continue the question. Kurt Cobain was the lead vocalist of which rock band whose name comes from a Buddhist term? Miguel. Nirvana. Nirvana is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number six. By Executive Order 292, what celebration of Islam that marks the end of Ramadan has been declared as a regular holiday? Eliza. Idil Fatir. Idil Fatir is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What town whose name means Port of Galleons is one of the top beach destinations in Oriental Mindoro? Miguel. Puerto Galera. Who has not heard of Puerto Galera? The answer is correct. K check. Question number eight. In history, what is the name of the empire that flourished between the 14th and 16th century mostly in Mexico and whose rulers include Montezuma? The name of the empire is the Aztec Empire. Question number nine. What is the name of the hard, shiny, white outer layer of human teeth that is considered as the hardest substance in the human body? Miguel. Fluoride. The answer is not correct. Anybody want to steal? The correct answer is enamel. Fluoride makes the enamel harder. Question number 10. In music this time, what common term refers to a percussion instrument consisting of two circular brass plates struck together as a pair? Yana. Symbol. Symbols is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What is the back part of the lower leg of humans that has the same name as the young of a cow? Eliza. Calf. Calf is the correct answer. K check. Last question, question number 12. In sports, which Spanish tennis player has won a record 14 French Open men's singles titles and eight other major championships? And I thought everybody knew Rafael Nadal. And that's it for our second round. All right, points recap muna tayo. Miguel is leading with 100 points. Followed by Yana and Eliza, tied sila with 50 points each. At sinunda naman ni Tricia with 40 points. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check!
Welcome back everyone. Points recap muna tayo. Miguel is leading with 100 points. Tied naman si na Yana and Eliza with 50 points each. At si Trisha naman ay may 40 points. So in the lead man si Miguel, mm -hmm. there's still a chance para rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate, ultimate pagalingan round. round. Remember sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. This is your last chance para humabol. So dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. And our first question will come from Prof. Glessy. Hello. Sino ang sikat na kompositor ng mga awiting OPM tulad ng Tayo'y Mga Pinoy, Almusal, at Paralan? Letter A, Jess Santiago, letter B, Mike Hanopol, letter C, Heber Bartolome, letter D, Gary Granada, and letter E, Joey Ayala. The correct answer is letter C, Heber Bartolome. Thank you. Well, Ricky, next question. In the world of waves, what is the distance between two successive peaks called A. Wavelength B. Amplitude C. Frequency D. Velocity and E. Period Trisha. E. Period po. Mali. Eliza. A. Wavelength Wavelength is the distance between two successive peaks of a wave. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu, next question. In Asian history, what religious movement was responsible for a nerve gas attack on a Tokyo subway in 1995? Letter A, Hare Krishna. Letter B, the Moonies. Letter C, Falun Gong. Letter D, Aum Shinrikyo. And letter E, Kaida Juko. Hindi umabot. Very sorry. Now known as Aleph, Aum Shinrikyo is a Japanese religious movement and doomsday cult founded by Shoko Asahara in 1987. Thank you. Top blessing next question. Okay, pelikula naman. Sino ang manunulat ng mga sikat na pelikulang tulad ng Salome, Moral, at Himala? Letter A, Ricardo Nolasco. Letter B, Ricardo Lee. Letter C, Ricardo Cepeda. Letter D, Richard Gomez. And letter E, Richard Merck. Eliza. A. Wrong answer. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, si Ricardo Lee, na kamakailan ay naging national artist. Thank you. So, Ricky, next question. Sa biochemistry naman tayo. What is the main structural component of cell membranes? Forming a lipid bilayer with hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions. A. Proteins. B. Carbohydrates. C. Nucleic acids. D. Phospholipids. E. Cytosol. Trisha. D. Phospholipids. K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian history uli. The protests during the Arab Spring of 2011 occurred in the following countries, except Letter A, Iraq Letter B, Libya Letter C, Tunisia Letter D, Bahrain Letter E, Turkey The Arab Spring was a series of anti-government protests uprisings, and armed rebellions that spread across the Arab world starting in December 2010 and reaching its peak in 2011. The correct answer is E, Turkey. Thank you. Prof. Lessie, next question. 
sino ang kompositor ng himno ng UP na UP naming mahal? Okay, letter A, Ryan Kayabyab. Letter B, Levi Celerio. Letter C, Nicanor Abelardo. Letter D, Ramon Santos. And letter E, Ildefonso Santos. Eliza. Letter C. Correct answer is letter C, Nicanor Abelardo. K check. Thank you. Prof. Ricky, oh. next question. Umahabang Sa biology si naman tayo. Wow. Oh. What process involves the production of offspring by a single parent? without the involvement of gametes or fertilization. A. Eliza. Tatapos ang kopya ng question. Hindi. Uh, I'll continue. A. Mitosis. B. Meiosis. C. Asexual reproduction. D. Sexual reproduction. E. GMO. Yana. C, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction involves the generation of offspring from a single parent resulting in genetically identical individuals. K check. Next question, Prof. Du. Maraming salamat. Mukhang nagtutugma ang aming uh, tanong ni Prof. Glessy. Dahil ang tanong ko rin ay tungkol sa UP. O alert ha. He was the first Filipino president of the University of the Philippines in 1915. Replacing American Mary Bartlett. Letter A, Ignacio Villamor. Letter B, Bienvenido Gonzalez. Letter C, Rafael Palma. Letter D, George Bocobo. Letter E, Carlos P. Romulo. Liza. C, Rafael Palma. Mali. Ignacio Villamor E. Borbon was a Filipino lawyer, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, and the first Filipino President of the University of the Philippines. The correct answer is A. Ignacio Villamor. Thank you. Now we're off to the last set of questions. For this round, Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Okay. Who wrote the famous revolutionary essay, Liwanag at Dilim? Letter A, Jose Rizal. Letter B, Graciano Lopez Haina. Letter C, Emilio Jacinto. Letter D, Apolinario Mabini. And letter E, Emilio Aguinaldo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Emilio Jacinto. Prof. Ricky, next question. Okay, so marine science naman tayo. In the classification of marine ecosystems, what term is used to describe shallow coastal areas with high primary productivity and diverse marine life? A. Abyssal plain B. Intertidal zone C. Pelagic zone D. Estuary and E. Coastal ecosystem The correct answer is intertidal zone. Thank you. Last question for this round, Prof. Lu. Okay, world geography. What is the name of the third longest river in the world? Letter A, Nile. Letter B, Mekong. Letter C, Changjiang or formerly Yangtze. Letter D, Amazon. Letter E, Euphrates. The river, now known as Changjiang, is the longest river in Eurasia and the third longest in the world after the Nile and the Amazon. Thank you so much and that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Miguel. With 100 points, our K-Check Daily Winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll see you again tomorrow when you compete with your other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. 
thank you to Yana, Trisha, and Alisa for joining, and to the members, of course, of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang. Please join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.